Clear as nah. Gotcha. Gotcha, Miss Hart. Finally. What? You got what? I got you, bish. Look at this photograph. Every time it always makes me laugh. Every time it always makes me. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly visible. Now tell me, what's on Johnny's head? S so? This picture was taken with professional high-quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the faces of the men on the boat. Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What? Wha Mr. Wright has a point. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony. Please! Yet now she said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart? What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course! I said I could and I meant I could. And please testify as to the circumstances of your sighting. You did it. I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. You're right. It was a cold night and the fog was thick as grits. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. Hmm. You use binoculars. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one had better be good. So, how could you see Edgeworth? Now just hold your horses for a second. You hasty Yankee types would never find a gal where I'm from. Defense attorneys have trouble with that as it is. Nobody loves me. Your camera. Yeah, it's got an automatic. The issue we are concerned with here is Mr. Hart seeing Mr. Edgeworth. The camera has nothing to do with this at all. Objection sustained. Ah, he's not letting her answer any of my questions. Binoculars. Yeah, binoculars. Yesterday you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well, yeah. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars for that? Ah. Uh. I've got doubts about your camera, too. Was that really to take pictures of meteor showers? The camera is irrelevant to this case. You can't say that for certain. Mm, Mr. Wright, is the camera really relevant to this case? If you believe it is, then you may continue with this line of questioning. But know this. If you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Well, Mr. Wright, do you wish to press further about the camera? This is make it or break it time. The camera is of utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire case. Therefore, I will continue with my line of questioning. Wow, maybe I went a little overboard there. Very well. Miss Hart, you will testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, this, this one's easy. You were photographing shooting stars. That's a lie. S says who? <laughs> I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. Ugh. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. Well then, what exactly was she photographing? Your Honor, take a look at this. Miss Hart, this is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article. Gordy. 
Ah, the sighting at Gold Lake. Well, Miss Hart? I, I never heard of no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's see, you prove that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. I have it. Proof. Hmm, intriguing. Very well, let's see it. And no joking around this time, please. Here's proof that the witness was trying to photograph Gordy, the lake monster. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. Your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus this photograph here, taken when a gun fired on the lake. And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you'd set your camera to respond to loud noises. Order! Order! I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. Well, Miss Hart? You were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah. Not bad. Are all you lawyers that smart? So smart, boy. I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? I don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you just used several precious minutes of our time to prove is nothing more than the witness is an idiot who thinks monster exists. H hey! But as she so succinctly said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for a reason, I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart, why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy for the court? Please revise your testimony. <laughs> right, fine, I'll testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change. It has to. I'm going to spot it. Actually, I'm not a research student at a university. I'm an investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop it would be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. That's all I was hiding. When I heard the bang, I looked right straight out at that lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched that boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, and I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at that boat the whole time, crossed my heart, and hoped to fry. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. The witness's testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she's a research student or a photographer has no bearing on this case. There's no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. Uh... Hmm. Objection! I claim the defense's right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Von Karma's up to something, I know it. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because... Why? Is there a contradiction? Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself, you must have something in mind. Ha! Huh. That would be a first. Aha, uh -huh, very funny. You understand that this is your last chance at a cross-examination, Mr. Wright. If there is no problem with the testimony this time, we will let the witness leave. I will announce my verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Then what manner of person are you? I'm not sure I'm highfalutin enough to be called a manner of anything. An investigative photographer? Yep. You get your photo and sell it to the press. It's that kind of business. Hey, I was taking pictures at my sister's graduation last year. And guess what? Uh... What? There was a UFO just hanging in the sky! A UFO? You know, an unidentified flying object? A UFO. That's when I had a sort of revelation. I knew I should become an investigative photographer. I... I see. Kind of a shaky basis for a career. Is Gordy really all that newsworthy? 
Heck yeah, I even had him up on the TV. I'm not sure that appearing on the local news rumor of the month show qualifies. Last month's show was Bigfoot sighted on Acorn Hill, I believe. Hey, they also had a picture of him in the newspaper, for real. Mr. Wright, there's one fight I do not believe you can win. Let's keep moving, shall we? Yes, your honor. That's why you put the automatic sensor on your camera. Yup, borrowed it from a friend at university. It analyzes every sound it picks up and when it gets a bang, it snaps a shot. Yep. So how many pictures has it taken so far? The only time the camera triggered was that night. Hmm. I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose at the lake. Heck, if we got out what I was up to, the lake would be swarming with competitors. Competitors? Yeah, second-rate shutterbugs trying to steal my scoop. Ah, is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Well, actually... Mr. Wright, I will not have you ask questions with no relevance towards the case. Whatever you say, Von Karma, I know you told her to keep quiet. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper a sound than I would have expected. Hmm. There wasn't much else to look at. Yep. I don't know, she heard a bang and she thought Gordy was out there. I kinda doubt she'd waste any time looking at a boat. What? What did I do now? What are you giving me that look for? Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Fitness, continue. Hold your hush puppies, Pops. I'm getting there. Was there nothing on the lake but the boat at that time? Huh? Wait, so you're thinking maybe it was he was shot from some other place? I don't think so, no. The lake was smooth as glass, and nobody was on the shore, neither. Hmm. Better find some sort of contradiction in this testimony. I won't be able to beat Von Karma any other way. There has to be something. Objection! Miss Hart? Were you really looking at that boat? What's with you? Of course I was looking at it. It was the only thing out there, any normal person would be looking at it. I agree, any normal person would. But you're far from normal. What? Y'all wanna step over here and say that? You were camping at the lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Ah. Order, continue, Mr. Wright. You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you wouldn't need binoculars to watch that boat. You needed them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Well? <laughs> well, now that y'all mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there and all. Miss Hot, are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? S sorry, y'all. Uh, I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just... I thought, you know, I could be a witness to a murder and all. Kinda got excited. I was sure I was watching that boat. Till now. Yes, this is totally uncalled for. But hey! You got the photograph, you got proof! Hmm. Still, we can't see who's shooting who in this. Right, right! That's why I took this photo and... Witness, that's enough. You've had a long day, shut your pie hole. Shut my what? What was she gonna say? She took the photo and what? Wait a second. She even had the photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell from the photo who's shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality a mite, but it should let us see who's who. 
she enlarged that photo. Why won't Von Karma let her show it? I've got a hunch. I bet that enlarged photo shows something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. If I'm wrong, though, it'll mean prison for Edgeworth or worse. What should I do? Miss Hart, look at this photograph. Yeah, I already did the... the joke. The Nickelback joke. Yeah, I did. Why has that enlargement not been presented to the court? Because it does not exist. What are y'all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in court in the first place. You old fool. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? Uh, <laughs> Miss Hart? Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Objection denied. The witness will show the enlargement to the court. Here it is. Hmm. He still cannot see who's firing in this. Could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Happy now, Mr. Wright. Hmm. There has to be something. You asked for the enlargement, and you got the enlargement. And little good it's done any of us. That's why I requested she not show it. Hmm. I suppose this means that the cross-examination is over, obviously. Then I would like to close the cross-examination of Ms. Lotta Hart. And none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it's time for me to declare my verdict. Wait, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. This is bad, real bad. What shall I do? Your Honor, there's something decidedly strange with this enlargement. What might that be? Mr. Wright, you will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Okay, here goes nothing. I'll show the judge what's strange about this photo. You know, this is something we asked about in another case, but... Get out of here. Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter? Strange. Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. The hand? That hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that left hand contradicts. The man in this photograph is holding that pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edgeworth's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. Now that everyone in the courtroom has quieted down, I would like to reconvene this court of law, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You have given us definitive proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? There is only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Order! Order! So you're saying the victim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Hmm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. 
but suicide is out of the question. What? An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which he was shot. The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. A meter? That's three feet! There's no way it could have been suicide. Order! Order! Mr. Von Karma, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? Of course! I had already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Hmm. I see. Very well. Allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the prints on the gun revealed that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the day. The court orders the defense and prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> that is all. The court is adjourned. Oh, that was a close one. Hey, don't you have anything to say? No. I've yet to be declared innocent, right? Well, yeah, but what happened out there on the lake anyway? If he didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. What? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. I was just kidding around. <sighs> look, I'm gonna go check on Maya. Oh, right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell... Tell her to watch what she says in court. That's all. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be happy to hear you say that, Edgeworth. Jerk. I requisitioned a transcript of Lotta's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course, she didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. <laughs>